Hey my sweet cupcakes, welcome back to another video on this channel. I know that I say this all the time, but I'm back. <laughs> um, I didn't really take a break. I was just a little bit unmotivated to like film and upload videos. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. I'm just gonna do a quick little update. Let's see, I don't really know what I can tell you. My life has been kind of crazy, honestly, within this past year. A lot of things have happened, but all good things. Um, my hair went through many transformations. The video that I just posted is with my friend Erica, and you can see in that video that I had short like hair up to here with bangs and I was rocking that look for a little bit. I dyed my hair back to my natural color for like a month and then I got this done. My hair is a little wet so it's um, a little bit darker than it naturally, or not naturally, but than it actually is. On that note, I filmed this video yesterday and so what happened is that I was so excited to be back on YouTube and so I filmed this video and then I export the footage onto my laptop and then I realized that the audio was nowhere to be found. So I was kind of bummed and disappointed, but I think that this is just an opportunity to do a better job at this video. But anyways, in that video there's a little clip that I filmed um, and I really wanted to put that clip in here because my friend Ivan for my birthday got me some little Jigglypuff macaroons he like got them custom ordered for me and they were like my favorite things ever because I'd been wanting like Disney macaroons or Pokemon macaroons for such a long time and he got them for me for my birthday so anyways, my shop is back. Again, it wasn't really gone, but I wasn't really focused on it that much, but now we're back. And so I put these in the shop this week. So they are Toy Story ears. This one has Bunny and Ducky, and this one has Forky. Shameless plug, my shop is visionsofadaydream.com. I'm gonna leave uh, the link down below and if you are interested in buying Minnie Mouse ears then go check out my shop because I'm kind of um, biased but I think it's like the best shop ever just saying but anyways yeah um, I just came back from Peru not too long ago but I went to Peru you guys it's my first trip out of the country ever since coming to the US when I was seven years old from Guatemala I went with my friend Nicole and it was amazing it was very eye-opening and um, I was kind of a little culture shook for a little bit there but I went to or she took me to the Rainbow Mountain and Machu Picchu so it was a really great and amazing experience never in my life would have I have thought that I would be going to Peru it was just never like in my plans or on the map for me but I am really glad that I went um, we went to Cusco and Lima um, also and a lot of like exploring so that was really amazing but yeah I think those are all my updates oh I'm 27 now you guys <laughs> It's just weird, but also I feel really blessed to have reached 27 years of age. When I think of 27, I think, oh my goodness, I'm so old, but I don't feel old at all. I mean, I'm wearing a Minnie Mouse shirt, um, but I don't feel old at all. And so I think that that's what's most important, right? Because you're only old if you feel old. But anyways, this video is going, oh, also, Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Also a shameless plug. It is at paola.julissa with three S's um, because I post stuff on there a lot too. So anyways, this video, I was thinking of what to film because I really wanted to do an update, but I also wanted it to be interesting. So I am gonna show you guys my top, I think it's 12 favorite things that I have bought at Disney parks and the reason why I picked 12 is because I was gonna pick 10 but it was really hard for me to uh, kind of 
fit 10 things. So yes, top 10 things that I've got from Disney Parks right here. Okay, so yesterday, like I said, I tried to film this video. Um, I showed these last because they are my newest purchase, but I'm gonna show them first so that I can wear them throughout the whole video. I actually didn't buy these myself, but also my friend Ivan bought these for me for my birthday. So when they first came out, I really wanted them because I saw them on Instagram and I just fell in love with them so much. What I'm talking about are these ears and <laughs> they're so beautiful, you guys. Like I just can't. I love the mint with the like lilac um, color and the teal. I just think it's so pretty. And the fact that these are shells and this is sequin, like it's just, it was calling my name and I'm going to put them on because they're so cute. My next thing, and these are in no like order, just kind of what I have right here. This is also my desk where I do all of my work. So like all of my ears, you can see my sewing machine back there. But the next two things are my spirit jerseys. And the first one is the millennial pink spirit jersey. And I got this in 2018. Not that it matters, but I just think it's interesting to tell you guys when I bought whatever I'm going to show you. So my favorite or one of my favorite colors is rose gold. But for some reason, the rose gold jersey didn't really call to me. Um, I liked that the letters were rose gold, but then the overall color of the t-shirt was like a really weird peach color that I didn't really like. So I got the millennial pink. I just like it so much. So it has the D in the front. Uh, established 1955 and then it just says Disneyland Resort on the back. The next spirit jersey, my cotton candy spirit jersey and this is what it looks like. This is actually a kids extra large. I got this in 2018 also in the fall time and I love this because it reminds me of cotton candy. I love these pastel colors. It says Disneyland Resort on the back and Disneyland on the front with a castle. So the difference between the adults and the kids is that the adult ones have a D in the front and these have a castle and they say Disneyland. The difference also is that the adult ones have ribbing on the sleeve but the kids ones don't. This is an adult extra small and it fits me kind of big. So the Extra large kids fits me perfect. So yeah, just random facts, I guess. This next sweater kind of just began my love for Disney Park sweaters. I got this because I was in the park one day and I was cold and so I needed a sweater. And I saw this and I fell in love. And it has been one of my favorite sweaters ever since I got it in like early 2016. I feel like this came out for the diamond celebration at Disneyland. It says Disneyland Resort and it has the castle with little hidden Mickeys and little hidden hearts and bows and I just love it so much. You could tell this sweater has been really well loved because it's so <laughs> Faded. I literally wore it every single day since I got it because I just love it so much. And I don't know if this is crazy, but the reason also why I decided to film this video is because, for example, like this sweater is not going to last forever, but this video might. I don't know. And so <laughs> I want to remember what this sweater looks like. I still wear it like all the time because I love it a lot. So. Yeah, that's my baby. So I guess from here, we're gonna go in order because most of my favorites are apparel items. So then this next one was also a time when I was at Disneyland and I was cold and I just fell in love with this. Now, I like shirts and sweaters with designs, but I can also appreciate when things are subtle and so this is the jacket, um, but it's one of those like puffy kind of jackets, but I love that this one is not like super puffy. I don't like puffy jackets because they make me look like a marshmallow, um, but this one isn't super puffy. It's also really soft on the inside. And if you just look at it from far away, also it has a hood. 
If you look at it from far away, you might not be able to notice, but if you really look at it, you can tell like there's hidden Mickeys in the stitching and I love that so much. So I got this in 2017, like winter 2017. And it also went to my trip to Peru and I wore it like every single day because it's so cold in Peru and I'm not a cold climate type of girl, but it was so cold. I used it, I think I took it to Machu Picchu, I'm not sure. I took it to the Rainbow Mountain because it was cold while we were um, like hiking. It's really good quality because even though it's been through a lot, it's not fading or anything. So yeah, I love this little baby. The next thing that I got is also in uh, 2017, I think. And it's this sweater. And I also fell in love with it. I think it was 2017. Might have been 2018. Don't really remember. This is what it looks like. I love that blue and that pink. I just think that they're so pretty together. And then the pops of yellow, like right here on the top. So that's my favorite part of this sweater. Um, is the top area, but um, yeah, it just says discover the magic. It's kind of like um, a map of California Adventure down here and Disneyland up here. So uh, yeah, I think that's really cool and cute. Um, and then after that, I got this other hoodie. So as you can tell, my favorites kept on changing from that blue sweater to this and then this was my third obsession. I'm really into hoodies and like crew sweater things. But yeah, so this one you could tell it's also a little bit faded because I got a lot of use out of this and it says mini on the front. I love this like pink lilac -y color and also the teal. I love how simple the design is, but it's so pretty. And so on the back, it has that same design as well. This is designed by the brand Neff and it has the name on the front or on the front on the sleeve and yeah I love it super cute this one is a small so this one is an extra small and that's important to me anyways because I don't really understand the sizing at least for this Neff brand because one of my more recent favorites is this one and I saw it I actually I don't know if this is a funny story but I follow this girl on Instagram she was at Disneyland and she was posting like in her stories all the new merch that had come in and she kind of glanced the camera on this sweater but even just with that tiny glimpse I saw it and I was like I gotta have it. So I asked, I sent, I got a screenshot. I sent it to my friend Ivan. I was like, if you go to Disneyland, can you please try to see if you can find this for me? And I think he tried and he didn't find it. But so the next time that I went to Disneyland, I looked for it and I really thought that I wouldn't be able to find it because every time that I really want something, I can't find it at Disneyland. I don't know why, but I did find it. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's also by that brand Neff. I just love these colors. And just look at Minnie, she's so cute. I love how she's like posing. It says Minnie Mouse, but I think she looks so cool and adorable. So I had to have the sweater and I got it. Also the black on this sweater looks a little bit um, faded, but that's just because I think it's supposed to be like a really dark gray or a light black. I bought this in April of this year, 2019, and it's been my most current obsession. It has nothing on the back, but on the sleeve, it has that brand, Neff. And so we were talking about sizing, right? So this black Neff sweater is an extra small and it actually fits me a little big. This one is, what is this? This is a small and it fits me perfect. So I have a feeling that this black one was made in like a unisex 
sizing and this one was made in women's sizing but I just thought that was interesting I don't know um, now my most current buy from Disney I think I bought this in June but it is this sweater that I love it looks like this it has Atlantica on it I just love the colors I love that it has Atlantica with the mermaids and the mer mermen what I don't like about this sweater though is that it has a seashell I could care less for the seashell also wouldn't mind if it didn't have these um, like crisscross things but I also don't really mind that it does I just find it a little bit not annoying but inconvenience <laughs> if I'm wearing a shirt that's like up to here and then it kind of shows through the crisscross so anytime that I'm wearing this I have to make sure that I'm wearing like a v-neck or something so that um, it doesn't look weird so those were eight sweaters they're my favorites when I go to Disneyland I really don't buy that much merch and if I do my buy merch it's usually a sweater so that was eight um, this was nine let's move on to my other favorite so I went to Disney World in 2015 and I bought this Mickey Mouse ring that if you have seen any of my DIY videos then you probably have seen it I've also shown it on Instagram I believe but it's just a ring it has Mickey's silhouette and they have it at Disney, Walt Disney World, but they also have it at Disneyland. And it's just one of those rings that you can find in the little spinny jewelry thing when you go into one of the stores. But I loved it because it was 925 sterling silver, so I wore it almost every single day since I got it, and it never tarnished. Um, nothing happened to it. It was really good quality for, I think it was like $30, but it was surprisingly really good quality. I know that I have it I don't know where it is and the only reason why I took it off is because my 11th favorite Disney Parks item is actually uh, this ring and so I saw this ring and I fell in love with it and I was with Ivan and he bought it for me and I absolutely love it so much and so this is the ring uh this is the finger that i used to wear my other mickey mouse ring and so i was wearing it that day i remember they gave me a box for this ring but i took the other ring off put it in the box put this one on and i have no idea where the box went i know like i said i know that i have it i feel like i saw it recently but anyways i love this ring so much yeah this is my new favorite jewelry item so my last thing which is the 12th thing is this cup i have a thing for tumblers and water bottles i also like mugs but for some reason like i love tumblers and water bottles and so i got this 2018 for the pixar fest and it's the little aliens tumbler um, I don't know if you will be able to tell but it lights up so you can kind of tell and I just think this is the cutest coolest thing ever I love the little aliens so much and basically I just drink water from this um, I feel like you have to drink a clear liquid from these kinds of things because then you can't see the things inside of the cups. So yeah, those are my top 12 things that I got at Disney Parks. I hope this video isn't weird. I feel like nobody cares, but whatever. Um, I do have an honorable mention. I got this for my birthday. I'm not sure if this is from the parks. Um, I took the tag off and I remember that it said Disneyland, but I don't really remember all that much. Um, my cousins gave this for, to me for my birthday. It says, I live in Fantasyland. Again, I like water bottles and tumblers. And so, yeah, this is for hot and cold drinks. And I also really love that the little slot where you drink out of fits a straw, like it's round. Um, so it fits a straw in there perfectly, which I like straws 
I feel like it's kind of like a taboo thing to say nowadays because everybody's like against straws. I like straws, okay? I'm sorry. I am trying to use the little metal straws, but yeah. So anyways, this is an honorable mention. I just think it's super cute. It's also rose gold, which is one of my favorite colors. So uh, yeah, that is all. I hope this video wasn't boring. I feel like, like I said, who would want to watch this? But if you like collection videos, I was thinking of doing a Disney purse slash backpack collection video but I don't know if anybody will want to see that but yeah so I have other videos that are coming up I think I have I have two videos that are pre-filmed. I have one that I filmed like a year and a half ago um, on how to make your own fanny pack. I have this other video on how to make your own face glitter because when I go to Disneyland I love to put glitter on my face and so I made my own little concoction um, so I have a video on how to do that and I think those are all my pre-filmed videos but I'm really excited to make new ones and to film new ones and I think that's all so thank you guys for watching if you made it this far and I will see you guys in the next video um, I love you so much and I appreciate you with all of my heart yeah <laughs> bye